Friday sale is live now, you guys. Up to 60% off. Get over there. Teddyfresh.com. Now is your chance more than ever. You've seen Hassan wearing it. It's cool. It's slick. It's neat. Teddyfresh.com. Black Friday sale is live now. Now. The reason I don't like having these conversations is just because, like, I... Dude, it's just not worth it for all the fucking bullshit about, like, the amount of hateful shit I get. And, like, I, I feel that I'm I'm really... I try to be really open-minded and, like, open to new ideas. Obviously, I'm not perfect, but the shit people say is crazy, man. That is a Garth Brooks reference. I'm reading chat now, by the way. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, you were talking about... You were talking about uh, from the river to the sea, Palestine yeah, yeah. will be free. And okay, the so like at worst, the worst interpretation of that would be. Okay, J I, just in case anybody's like, oh, what, what am I talking about? I'm talking specifically about this one. I love this one. This one looks so good. This one looks so good. I, I was hoping they'd still have it, but I guess, uh, I guess it's out now. Damn. It's my white whale. Be like mm -hmm. someone like Hamas or Hezbollah or like terrorist organizations. You can't like, waste my time. Yeah, we want to actually kill everybody there. That's the worst interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. I know that there's a lot of people, obviously, most vast majority of people who do say that don't want to kill all the Jews there, right? But, but like, so at the best interpretation of it, it basically means, as I've said, this one state disillusion of the state of Israel. And a lot of people also see that. I would say the vast majority of people in Israel see that as a genocide. So that it's, it's, if it's viewed in that scope, and there's another interesting thing that I've noticed about this. I mean, the thing is like, that phrase does have a long history of being used by terrorists. And yeah. so... Hold on, hold Wait, on. Wait, can I, I'll, I'll, can I do something, though? Because, like, the hold terrorism on. designation here... Let me make my full here. point. Okay, let me go ahead. My, you make your full yeah, point. Let me make my full yeah, point. Yeah, just let him, let, him, let him finish a goddamn sentence. Jesus. Here, and then you can respond. There's an interesting phenomenon going on here where my, when minorities tell you they're offended by something, usually, especially liberals and leftists, they'll, they'll listen because it's not their place, right? They'll say, it's not my place. If you say it, then that's what it is. I mean, Jews are make up 60% of all hate crimes in America right now. Mm -hmm. So, so when, when Jewish people look at that and they say, listen, it makes me uncomfortable the way that that's used. It, I find it interesting that people see that as an, an opportunity to argue instead of listen, especially to me, it's like, you can make the same argument about the Confederate flag where Southerners will be like, Listen, it's just about our heritage, you know what I mean? That has nothing to do with racism. And maybe and, and some people do believe that, right? But at the end of the okay. day, if a black person is like that Confederate flag is offensive to me, you're not gonna argue with them and say, No, it's just heritage. Like not everybody who uses it is racist. So okay. then you know what I'm saying? Like it just doesn't seem fair. I, I know, but I mean I, I would disagree with this, like I think from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free in the context of, like, ending the apartheid state. I think that makes sense. There is history and precedent for using it in that way. Um, and I would argue the majority of usages is in that way. Um, but I also understand, like, having trepidation right after, like, 1,200 people were killed in an attack. You know, I, I understand not wanting to necessarily grant that much charitability to it at this point in time. So, one, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Its origination, its inception comes from the PFLP, the uh, Popular Front for Liberation of Palestine, which, you're and right, was considered swaps, a terrorist. Uh, existed before Nazis. Okay, you know, hold I'm on. Just saying. I, I understand. I'm going to describe it. Go ahead. In its inception and in its broader context, historically, since the 60s, it has always been utilized as a slogan for emancipation and never for anti-Semitism. The reason why Hamas it adopted it, the reason, why, yeah, the reason why Hamas yeah. co-opted it when they had 3% support as opposed to the PLO, which had 83% support, Right. Alongside alongside 
uh, the PLO was because it was the slogan that was the slogan for Palestinian emancipation. This does not mean that like that slogan changed at any given point to mean uh, killing all the Jewish people just because it was co-opted by a marginal militant faction Whoa. that in I'm upset that I will never own that Godzilla sweatshirt. God damn it. <laughs> itself has never reached right. a, a similar level of popularity to even a two state solution has historically amongst Palestinians. They've never polled anywhere near 52% oh, so where do you, In which part of this do you think it's fair to argue with a, with a group that makes up 80% of all hate crimes that happen in America, or not 80, because, 60%, because that, the, that, you're, you're, that you can argue with them and say, no, it's, it's fine? I'm, I'm going to tell you. Because, well, two reasons. One, because Palestinians are the oppressed party in the structure against the state of Israel, not Jews, the state of Israel, which does not, in, I think you and I both agree, does not represent the interests of, of Jews at all and will falsely conflate the interests of Jews with the interests of the state of Israel, specifically so they can continue to engage in this argument, sometimes from a disingenuous uh, framing, a disingenuous conflation. Jewish people themselves say from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Jewish people are at the forefront of the anti-apartheid, I mean, anti-Zionist, sure activism jewish voice for peace jews for economic I mean, and the existence of jewish people doesn't no, i don't know at that point is not so, very persuasive i mean of course there is what do you of course it's i, I think it's very important because, because there's it was israelis like, that say it do you know or uh, minority or jewish people shouldn't be offended by it because some people say it i mean no i think i think because jewish people i'm not going to talk about this as like jewish people in general the reason why i brought up Jews for uh, uh, Jewish Voice for Peace and other groups using this as well, like Jews themselves in America using this uh, anti-Zionist slogan, indicates that this slogan isn't one that is about the evisceration of That's Jews. If that was the case, that, then that, then they no. wouldn't use it. I'm telling you that the mere existence of Jewish voices doesn't. It's not a leg to stand on. I don't understand that. But of course, you, there's going to be failing, but, you're, but the most important component here. The, it's the like you're tokenizing a few is Israelis. It seems silly. You're like, here, check out my Israeli. He says it. I will explain to you why it's not a comparison. Because I think you agree with me on this as well, that Palestinian emancipation is just, right? It's just. Whereas the Confederacy is not. The Confederacy was there to preserve, they said state rights, but states' rights, but it was there to preserve the maintenance of slavery. Palestinian emancipation is not uh, or has not ever been broadly defined at any moment throughout its history, uh, the evisceration of all Jews living in Israel or the forcible expulsion of all Jews living in Israel. Other militant factors that were never ever as popular as the broader Palestinian emancipatory. I I am not entirely sure that he is uh, correct on this one. I'm not entirely sure that this is correct. This is the shitty side of id poll. I think Ethan is just fixated on getting Palestine the optics win, which again, I don't think is possible in the mainstream media, but like polling is showing that Ethan is demonstrably wrong about uh, it being an optics L. I will agree people should... I uh, have waited for October 7th to be processed, but again, Israel wouldn't let you have that either because uh, they would just point at some IDF soldiers instead. Well, yes. Thank you, Kairiu. Hey, Dusty. How you doing? ...movement have taken on this slogan along... Oh, yeah. Uh... Hassan's community has some toxic elements, and they were saying that Ethan was uh, a Zionist genocider. Um, a lot. Side slogans like "Free Palestine" in general. The, the same exact argument to say from uh, Pal "Free Palestine from the River to the Sea" can also be applied to "Free Palestine" as well. It's, it's just a matter of where the motivations lie. You have to look at how Israelis view it. Is that you're well, saying I, that I, Israel I don't care as a country? I will. I will admit that I don't. And Jews at large, I think no, there's. A, I, I think most Jews. I don't think, think Jews at large crazy. view it. I don't think that that is the. What, in what position are you to even say that? 
I, well, I'm in the position of like, I'm in the position of, of almost, you you almost entirely getting. I know my perspective is not motivated by myself. It's motivated by Jews against anti-Zionist no, Jews. No, seriously, how can you speak for my entire ethnic group? I find that really interesting. Well, I don't speak for your entire ethnic group. How many Jews have you polled about if they find that offensive or not? It doesn't matter if Jews find it offensive, Ethan. It doesn't That's matter ridiculous... if a minority group finds something anti-Semitic? Yes, of course, because we're not talking about Jews at all. We're talking about Israel. This is okay, another, this know, a conflation between Israel and... No, in this case, the perception is because that phrase has been co-opted by terrorist groups and it's been used widely by terrorist groups and and this the idea that's being communicated although we've talked about the one state idea today and and the way that we've discussed it definitely seems like more realistic but i don't people don't think about it that way they think about basically the state of israel disappearing israel is the party with all of the power in this structure Palestinians have no you. power I'm in the structure. You why I'm going to listen to the Palestinian voices and and tell you the historical reference points as to what from the river to the sea Palestine will be free when talking about it. So just like when, a, when a, at what point can a phrase be co-opted by a terrorist and then you'd be like, mm, maybe I'm we'll just we'll back off that one. Um, the swastika and the Nazi comparison is actually a wonderful one, and I do not think that the Hamas or any Palestinian group has ever actually reached the machine of ethnic cleansing that the Nazis the have. Making dude, that comparison, in my opinion, do. is like diminishing about, the impact of the Holocaust. It's not what they've done or can do. It's about the meaning of it, you know? Yeah, Hamas also says free Palestine. That doesn't change the, the meaning behind free Palestine. It doesn't mean anything. What you have to well, look at is what... I mean, I find this to be an interesting semantic debate, but I don't think it's particularly meaningful for like the actual events that are transpiring if that makes sense there's a difference between being correct and right um what does ftrtts stand for it doesn't call for jewish eradication that doesn't stop certain people from feeling that it does and it lacks empathy to try to logic away a suffering person's pain yeah I think I think though Hassan's counter argument that like you know one shouldn't conflate Israel with Jewish people I think that's always a valid thing to say um especially in this conversation um because we're critiquing a state policy not like an ethnic group Oh from the river to the sea gotcha Yeah like that's the thing, right? Like, I think the the appropriate response here would probably be something along the lines of pointing out, you know, most people in America, when they're saying from the river to the sea, are not saying that Israel should be wiped out. They are not saying that... Um, you know, Jewish people should be genocided. Like, that's not the meaning of it um, in America. And that could be that the meaning meaning is something that is located in certain places at certain times um, and can change over time. It's subject to many variations. Um, I sorry, it's the first time I've seen FTRTTS. I, I don't know what that means. Um so yeah, like I understand where Ethan is coming from on this, but I I disagree with his assessment, if that makes sense. What the broader Palestinians, what the what the Palestinian movement believes, what the Palestinian movement uh, implies when they're saying this, and it's important. It's important because, like, what are people to do, Ethan? What is the what is the solution here? 
we say Palestinians can't say from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. There's people claiming that even saying a ceasefire is actually against Israel's best interests or even yeah. anti-Semitic, as a matter of fact. At, yeah, at, at, which, at a certain well, point, at a certain point, you have to realize that like maybe it's a little disingenuous and that it's more so to just like squash any amount of yeah, at, a, like any, any amount of sentiment expressed about, towards Israel. At and, any and, point, should you think about maybe I'm maybe I should ease off this because it is offensive to most the vast majority of Jews interpret it in a not nice way despite what people's intentions are and that maybe it's counterproductive to double triple quadruple down on it no because i'm not going to how is that how does that help the cause of palestinian freedom when people go because i'm not going to because i'm not going to make concessions say. that i don't uh, that that have no that hold no historic weight that i'm actually uh, that i'm actually listening to the palestinians when they say what okay. they mean because i don't oh. have this like secret uh, like secondary assumption that Palestinians actually are sneakily meaning something else. Like they, ooh, I, they're like no, actually talking about the destruction of Jews. I know put, that's not what you that said. I know that's not mouth. what you said. You're not saying that. Then You're why not saying you, that at why all. Why did you but say there are that? Plenty of people who are implying that. And even then, I'm simply stating Jesus the Christ. historical precedent for this sentiment. And of course, I'm going to combat misinformation. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue combating misinformation in a country that is outright hostile towards Muslims and outright hostile towards Palestinians from the, the actual state, right? There's anti-Semitism. This is absolutely true. Anti-Semitism is a gross hate crime. It is completely unacceptable. You and I are in agreement on this. I've, def I've combated anti-Semitism nonstop think, for the past 10 years. there's any people that hear that and they think, you know what? That means no fucking no. We gotta get rid of all these Israelis. Do you think there's anyone that believes that? That we have to get rid of all of the Israeli Jews from, in that area? From the river of to course, the sea. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So, there are anti semites. People, there are anti semites in the uh, pro Palestinian movement. You of think that are. it could be potentially misconstrued? Can it be potentially misconstrued? Uh, absolutely. Anything can be misconstrued. So, Any slogan that, can and, be and, misconstrued. And all these things, if it can be misconstrued. If it is believed by people to mean it that way, I I think a better comparison here would be the um, like defund the police or abolish the police during like BLM. I think a better comparison would be made to that. Um, if a comparison were to be made at all here, because yeah, you had a lot of people interpreting those uh, slogans being chanted during BLM. Um, in a wide variety of different ways. And I think that, um, I think making that comparison would help in this circumstance. then I don't think Jews are are uh, outside of their right to say, hey, this thing, ma this phraseology makes me uncomfortable. The conversation Neither. revolves around Palestinians, which, you know, Muslims are a minority group in general, Palestinians an even smaller minority group, against Zionists, specifically Zionists who are who are maintaining the the uh, the, the violent nature of the apartheid state in Israel. So in that structure, there are significantly more Zionists in America than there are Zionist Jews, and then there are anti-Zionist Jews. Zionist and anti-Zionist Jews are marginal because of the number of Jews in general on the planet, right? The much larger conversation is being had between Palestinian activists, which feature anti-Zionist Jews and anti-Zionists alike, some of which are anti-Semitic. I'm not going to say that they're not, okay? Versus well, that's kind of it, Dusty Den. Um, the Israeli government like has a vested interest in poisoning any kind of slogan around which people are like organizing. So I'm I have very little doubt that if you chose something even more innocu innocuous, and again, like the comparison has already been made by someone in chat to uh, Free Palestine. Um, You'd have government officials going on Israeli media saying that that is anti-Semitic and horrific and terrible. 
So, like, uh, the the issue the issue here is like Ethan is also not completely wrong in that acknowledged terrorist groups have used similar or the same phrase, which definitely doesn't make it look great when you have that fact going for it. The much broader, much larger Zionist community that is comprised almost entirely of Zionist evangelicals, Zionist Christians in general. That's the conversation so what, that's being had point, about the state of Israel. You can you on. can criticize Saudi Arabia and do it from an Islamophobic perspective, but many people are what never point? going to turn around and say you're being Islamophobic when you criticize Saudi Arabia. But when you criticize Israel, because the 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 foreign ministry has uh, maintained this position and this posture for a very long time, propped up by the likes of the ADL. This conflation is the immediate counter, and I think it's cynically deployed. It, in the grand scheme of things, throughout history, throughout the history of Palestinian emancipation, which I will reaffirm my support for, I do believe it is just and I believe it is moral, throughout that history, Hamas is but a mere blip. Hamas is but a mere blip, and even to this day, is not, uh, has never reached broad popularity. The, uh, the, the mantra itself predated Hamas and will continue to exist as long as there is an occupation. So having a conversation about the optics of a, com uh, uh, optics listen, of a slogan I, I'm not, I'm when, when 11,000 Palestinians have been ruthlessly slaughtered by that same state is, is ridiculous to me. It's I think it's fair. I think it, it's it, this characterization is super unfair. I mean, you're Why? making it sound like I'm a fucking like the concern for it has nothing to do with what you know uh, the Israeli government is doing the ethnic cleansing and murdering of Palestinians. It's got nothing to do with that. Invoking that is not fair. Fifty-seven percent of Gazans, by the way, and I'm not criticizing them. I understand why people would support Hamas during all this and who are in Gaza. But you say that I mean they have. Yes, uh, in 2017, in 2017, right Hamas in changed his charter and, and, in order and, to gain international recognition. It, it, has, and it has wide support in, in Gaza and in, the West. In 2017, so Hamas I, changed so his saying, charter in order to maintain its civil governance factions and also gain international recognition, as had prior terror cells like the ones that you mentioned that Ben Shapiro still considers a terrorist, like Yasser Arafat, as they tried. Yeah, um, Killjoy for 40k. Um, there are people within Israel who use um, the Likud party's propaganda from like the 1970s, uh, from the river to the sea. All you'll see is Israeli, um, or from the river to the sea, uh, Israeli sovereignty, like two variations like that. Um, you, you'll you'll definitely see that from uh, uh, is. Pe people within Israel or like government officials or um, particularly uh, rabid uh, Zionist folks. Try to do the exact same thing. You might not believe them. I do think that there are certainly still anti-Semitic people inside of Hamas, of course, but ultimately all of them? Palestinian people saying that they support you think violent cool. emancipation. You think Hamas people that are secular and cool and don't hate Jews? Do I think there are Hamas militants? Absolutely. Yes, no, 100%. No. no, that's not what I asked. I said, do you think there's Hamas people that are like chill and secular and they like and they don't hate Jews? Oh, 100%. Well, yeah, you, you can yell at me all day for that. I 100,000% believe it. There are fucking 18, 19 year olds. They don't know anything except fucking bombs being blown up in their heads. That is simply an express. That is simply a means of violent retaliation. I don't think people operate on being bad and being good. I think people operate on, holy fuck, there's a bomb blowing up in my, in my face that killed my fucking family. I hate this fucking state. And I'm going to join whichever faction will allow me to- Yankee, uh, thank you, just said it a few to, streams to ago. Fighting, uh, fighting that against this, right? this state. Mm. Not every single person is like motivated by like cleansing uh, every Jewish person uh, in Most Israel. Annually. If that was the case, they would not I, have tried to I, make a. They would not have tried. Okay, if that message. was the case. They would not have tried to change their charter and become more uh, and and recenter their posturing so that they can get international recognition. Whether it was going to happen or not is one other the, thing. The original one was like They're, they they changed their charter to get international recognition to to get more aid for again predominantly their militaristic branch. 
you can't have it both ways, by the way. You can't have it be like, ah, oh, yes, Hamas, Hamas is a lovely organization that is uh, progressive and changing uh, for the betterment of the future of the Palestinian people, and also be like it's controlled opposition from uh, from Netanyahu. Like it, it doesn't that doesn't work both ways, actually. insane yeah like who the yeah no I, I agree i agree open this link i mean this was just happened last week if you'll pull, pull this up it's one Memory of the head... reports what the fuck is this oh, it's, a clip, it's just a clip of a hamas oh uh, yeah this uh, is the yeah this is the lebanese guy okay so hamas this just is... like every other just here play okay it, just play it just play it Thank yeah you. i can play it but it doesn't matter here here so I played it, play it and if you don't mind just go. reading the yeah. the aloxa flood is just the first time and there will be a second a third, a fourth. Because we have the determination, the resolve, and the capabilities to fight. We will have to pay a price, and yes, we are ready for it. We are called a nation of martyrs, and we are a proud to sacrifice martyrs. We did not want to harm civilians. But, we are comp but there were complications on the ground. And there was a party in the area with a civilian population it was a large area across 40 kilometers. The occupation must come to an end. Occupation where? In the Gaza Strip. No, I'm talking about all the Palestinian lands. Does that mean the annihilation of Israel? He says, yes, of course. The existence of Israel is illogical, but there's cuts in there too. I don't even know what the fuck he's saying, but it doesn't matter. He's saying a bunch of fucking uh, psychotic, uh, bloodthirsty shit. I agree. This is one of the uh, head. This is a guy I've seen him before. He's a spokesman for Hamas. Yes, there are two different. Do there are multiple different Israeli factions within Hamas uh, right now. There are multiple no, different on. factions within Hamas right now. Is, hold on, let me. There, there are not. There are not multiple factions within Hamas. There are different branches and operational units of Hamas. There's like the governmental branch of Hamas, there's like the military branch of Hamas, and then there are other branches of Hamas. Like it's that that, that doesn't mean that they are different factions. And like the leadership and uh organization of Hamas is spread out across several different countries. Again, most of the leadership of Hamas is in Turkey or Qatar. Like Yeah, again, uh, Ukrainian, I, I've talked about this multiple times, but Netanyahu is on record as saying if you oppose a Palestinian state, then you should be in favor of funding Hamas. Um, Netanyahu has spent, like, the past 15 years uh, funneling money to Hamas specifically and deliberately to its military wing, wing to prompt attacks like this, like what happened on October 7th so that he can benefit his own political career. And similarly, the, the careers of other politicians within Likud. This is just like openly known information. You finish it. The existence of Israel is what causes all the pain, blood, and tears. It I is never Israel, thought not us. Do you want me to talk about it? He's going to say 1 million October yeah, 7th. Yeah, pretty soon they're going to throw each other into uh, right back. It is Israel, not us. We are the victims. There's only like 10 seconds left. Okay. Okay. Therefore, nobody finish. should yes, blame so. us for the things we do. We are the victims of the occupation, period. Therefore, nobody should blame us for the things we do. On October 7th, on October 10th, on October 1 million, everything we do is justified. It is justified. Yeah, he even says it in English. He says, it is justified. Let's talk about it, because you were you brought this up as though this is like an own or something. One, for as many bloodthirsty... Uh, he, he's not bringing it up as an own. It's just a, a very obvious contradiction in your point of, like, trying to paint Hamas as, like, a weirdly progressive organization and it just is not uh uh psychotic freaks exist in fucking hamas there is a, a the same number of non democrat uh, most of them are psychotic freaks they're they're joining hamas which is a death cult that molds them into psychotic freaks like that that is that is what hamas does and it's designed to do that.
specifically by the Netanyahu government. Like, it is designed to be something that funnels people towards this extremist ideology and turns them into politically useless uh, people. Because there are different political groups active within the Gaza Strip, within uh, the West Bank. Uh, these groups are committed to nonviolent change um to uh, like li literally to like mlk like organization and like uh nonviolent protest and those groups are undermined by like assassination attempts obviously by the state of israel but also by hamas I feel like hassan is in debate brain mode yeah and he's not very good at debating democratically elected mother in Israel that say the exact same shit. Dude, you and I are I'm in agreement on that. I'm saying this to defend Israel. I'm saying it because I, I'm just telling you why people are uncomfortable okay. with that phrase, from the river to the sea, because I they know. interpret its use like what this guy is saying, which is that from the river to sea, say to Israel be destroyed, and there'll be no Jews left in the region. Hi, Teddy. For the record, the from the river to the sea is in the liquid charter as well, and they do have the material. Uh, not only do they have the support, in their coalition government, but also the material realities reflect that uh, Israel is a genocidal apartheid state. So when they say from the river to the sea, it, you know, so this, uh, this, phrase, is, this, when does this it land become... belongs to Israel, that, that is it... a little bit more important. However, I don't even care about that sloganeering. I don't care about what Israel and... says either. I care about the actions. Okay. Okay. No, well, about... I'm, no, no. You made a statement defending this, this slogan and that's the yes, conversation yes i still defend it I, and i'm it's still defending it do, listen it's got nothing to do with defending israel or not i'm telling you how people feel about it this person's statements do not speak for palestinians as a whole and never has he doesn't even fucking speak for hamas there are two different factions or multiple factions in hamas there's a he civil governance branch there are he he's literally he's literally a spokesperson for hamas like that's his that's his job. Like you, like th this is like saying um, a member of the State Department isn't uh, isn't a representative of like the United States government when they give a statement on TV because the United States government actually has several different branches. Like th this is not a, like what what even is this argument? Are literally Ooh, Paladin lost? You should you should play Sea of Stars or Chained Echoes conflicting factions within Hamas he is the more militant faction in Lebanon like I'm not even defending these guys but at least like like this is not a defense of Hamas in any capacity I mean, but you have, to, you have to parse through this of course he speaks for one faction is what I'm trying to say so, so when they are different... even divided amongst themselves when they are even divided Just amongst themselves we cannot massage our expectations in a sure violent resistance is justified in uh and necessary in some cases but i think we've seen that the violent resistance that happened on october 7th um a killed the vast majority of people killed were civilians and b uh did not achieve anything for the liberation of palestinians and in fact has led to the further deaths of over 10,000 more civilians so like i i don't i would i would i would calculate that as a failed attempt to resist on a scale on which i would put the failure as colossal morally right. i i you can understand hamas without saying it it was justified just cause to the the uh, to tailor the needs to suit the needs of those who are ostensibly defending the maintenance of an unjust structure i think it's ridiculous to to concede on a uh, on a point like this especially as someone who takes anti-semitism very seriously i don't well, think that it's i don't think that it's appropriate mark lamont hill was literally fired from cnn a couple years prior for saying from the river to the sea palestine will be free at the hmm chat is that tr 
crew was Mark Lamont Hill fired for saying from the pa from the river to the sea Palestine will be free? No. No, it's actually not true. I looked into that story and it turns out Mark Lamont Hill was fired from CNN due to his association with uh, Luis Farrakhan, one of the most anti-Semitic people on the fucking planet. Like, he, he, was, he was fired because Luis Farrakhan was selling albums with a picture of the two of them on it. Like, and, and, I, I mean, like, come, come on, come on now. Goodness. We, we've gone over it. I have a video of it on my channel. Go, go watch that. The end of his speech at the UN. This man is a scholar. This man is a... Is a I is mean, a... if it's not about results, if, it, if it's about feels over reels, I, I, don't, I, I reject that as a reason for killing people. I reject that as a justifiable reason to kill someone. Like, I don't think you can kill... You, you have the right to kill someone just because you're really angry at them. I, re I reject that. Um, I, I would argue that if you have to kill someone, you need to get tangible results out of that because that is a, an incredibly huge decision you are making. And uh, all, all I would say is, uh, again, you can understand the actions of Hamas, but uh, I, would, I would be real careful about justifying the actions of a fundamentalist uh, reactionary death cult that killed over a thousand civilians. I, I would I would say, uh, for example, I think you can understand the set of circumstances that led to 9-11 without saying 9-11 was such a great thing. It was such a radical act of uh, revolution against the United States. Like, I think you can understand, like, the set of historical circumstances without saying, and, that w and that's why it was actually okay. <laughs> you know, I think... I think there's a big difference between those things. I like I I also think like oh well they they did it for all of the PR to remind the world that Palestinians deserve to be free. Really, you killed a thousand civilians to show the world that Palestinians deserve to be free? Like that's bad advertising. A historian he delivered a speech in front of the entirety of the united nations and cnn fired him why I'm did they assuming, fire him well i'm assuming that you don't believe israel has the right to exist i don't believe israel has a right to exist as an apartheid state no i don't i i don't believe right. that an apartheid because, state well, can continue from the river to the sea essentially means the state of israel is going bye-bye the reason why i brought up the historic reference point is because in its found in its charter in 1960 i think it's like 1965 the plp that first implemented this uh this slogan literally said they wanted the the zionist entity to be dismantled so that there is a democratic secular state for all jews living in israel and all palestinian muslim christians alike hold on so a lot of israelis like you also personally mentioned right believe that a secular singular state would mean genocide but you also have uh, been reasonable and have come to terms with uh, the the Israeli fears being overrepresented in this conversation and this is the exact same conversation being played out once again when I talk about emancipatory movements I feature the actual people that are being wronged in this process and not the considerations of those who are defending, maybe not directly oppressing those uh, people. And Killjoy 40K, I think it's actually good for them to be streaming a conversation. I, I think I think more conversations like this should be held publicly. I don't I don't think this is uh, I don't I I genuinely think even though I have a lot of issues with Hassan's. Um, rhetorical skills and his uh a lot of what he's saying i still think it's good for them to be having this these conversations and i don't think either of them are trying to grift off of this
I mean, but Motoku, Motoku, you could also say that about anything. You could you could say that about like going out and shooting a random stranger, right? You could be like, ah, well, you see, I think I think humans are fundamentally bad, and by taking one human out, I think we might see many positive effects. And you go out, you take a gun, you kill a random passerby, and uh, then you say, ah, but you see, you just don't know what the positive effects of that were. Um, because not enough time has passed. Like that, that's that, like that, that logic just doesn't play out. Wasn't, uh, Luis Farrakhan the guy who associated with the literal KKK? Yes. People who are, are asking for a just, uh, 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 a just cause that are morally on the right side, but those who are defending those who are wronging them. I don't care well, about the considerations well, the of, of people who defend are... Israel in that situation. The Palestinians are the ones being wronged, which I agree with. Yeah. Then, then they can't be. Then they can use that phrase with. They can say use phrases with impunity about Israel. I mean, if they said you know kill all the Jews, then no, of course not. That's not a, a what phrase if, what that they if can they use said, with impunity. What if they said um, Israel shouldn't exist? Israel shouldn't exist. Israel shouldn't exist. Uh, it depends. If they're, it depends contextually. It, it's entirely if about. Say, if they say. It's entirely about. It's entirely about whether or not it is contextual. Yeah, I kind of use that example, Gamer G. Um, I kind of use that example, Gamer G, because that there's unironically a TikTok trend right now of saying, of, of like going over Osama bin Laden's letter to America and being like, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, nine eleven was good actually. <laughs> Yeah, we, I, I, I don't really have a desire to go over it, but um, that's a thing that's happening, and um, that's why I use that example. <sighs> yeah, there, there's some... I, I, again, you can criticize U.S. imperialism without being like... This was, this was good, actually. It, it's the I, I would argue it's like the same group of people with the same mindset um, that like uh, essentially like read the Unabomber's manifesto and was like, ah, yes, the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski, what a what a swell guy. He just wanted to uh, he just wanted to ensure that nature was protected. Even though, like, when you go over, like, all of the facts about that, like, the Unabomber was just, like, an insane guy who wanted to kill people. Like, dude... <laughs> dude made no secret about it. But, uh, people, people will latch on to a lot of, uh, shady shit to justify, uh, murders, apparently. Yeah, I just found out today, um... Like someone, uh, not today, but like yesterday, someone, someone relatively close to me, uh, almost died on nine eleven. Uh, only, only wasn't there uh, because of a technicality. It was running, it was running late uh, to go to a meeting. Pretty small world, you know. appropriate it's like the fucking okay sign nazis use it you know what i mean right. but contextually I mean, speaking if you hit the fucking okay sign it doesn't mean you're a nazi hold on, if hold someone on. is talking about Would israel cannot exist in the within the framework that it currently exists then yes, how many people totally are talking about it like that though like i know you are and in like your political circles and stuff people people do talk about that but when someone out you know just in the world says israel shouldn't exist i wouldn't assume their intentions are always uh pure that yeah, they're preci precisely why i said context is is appropriate context is right, but in most context, context is I guess important. no i don't think in most context i don't agree with that it's like saying america doesn't if, it, if you say america shouldn't exist in the way that it does is like when i say it it's different i'm an american citizen when you and i can have say any it weight, easily though. doesn't have any weight there's no terrorist group trying to fucking kill americans but oh. um anyway, that's <laughs> where, that's, from? That's the, i'm just telling you the jewish perspective that's why people don't no when they hear well, from the all, river no you're not telling sea, me the jewish perspective you're telling me you're i am telling, i am no I Ethan, am. you can't say it's just the jewish perspective when I, i'm telling you because jews i know they're talking about israel but when jews around the world hear someone say israel shouldn't exist from the river to the sea which is how it's interpreted 
they see that again i keep bringing this up it, they see it as a genocide okay and there the are, that it there is, are a stupid. ton of white people who think Black Lives Matter means fuck all whites and only Black Lives Matter. That doesn't change the reality behind the slogan, and that doesn't change the morality behind the activism. And the same goes for Palestinian emancipation. Just because people who are in defense of Israel, people who are defending Israel and its continuation of an apartheid regime because the, the opposite makes them feel like it's going to be genocidal, doesn't change the reality of the slogan behind it and doesn't change the, the, the morality behind the action. Aww. I am in support of Palestinians. Like I'm in support of Harry, all people living freely. Thank you for getting Chainsaw subs. Oh, I am Palestinian. too. I really Stop appreciate it. these fucking words in my mouth. Like, I don't. The way you've I set that up is me. fucked up, and that's why people get so angry. No, I'm not putting words I'm in your mouth, but you're putting I'm, words I'm in your mouth. I'm explaining to you why people find it offensive. That's it. Here I'm not, you know what I mean? Jewish I'm telling you how people interpret that. And, and like, when people double down on it and they use it and they, I'm, and people, it's, a, it's offensive to the vast majority of Jews. I'm telling you, despite how many you know that you could fit into a room to, that agree with you. I'm this telling is going you to, This is going to literally, like, I'm telling you, I, I don't know why you won't listen to me. I'm trying to, as your friend, I'm, I'm seriously urging you to reconsider your position. What? Because if this you are, position. I'm I'm literally just explaining why people find it offensive. I don't, what is my position exactly that is that is a problem? What's my position? That's Your position a problem? comes along with the false conflation that this slogan is harmful to Jewish people. A slogan that is a, a slogan that is otherwise that. not harmful Jewish to Jewish people, people can be used in an anti-Semitic fashion. A slogan Jewish that is people believe it is harmful to them. But that doesn't change the reality of the slogan or the fact that there are plenty of Jewish people who are in support of Palestinian emancipation who use it. It's a slogan at the end of the day for a morally righteous cause. You're not gonna, you're not gonna convince Jewish people that. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't care about convincing Jewish people. But first of all, I I I, conv I care about convincing uh, whoever will actually listen and and try to understand from a charitable perspective what I'm trying to say. But ultimately. Yes, I am not going to move on this position because people are uncomfortable by this slogan considering what the slogan actually is. There's no reason to concede. There are certain things that I find That's not completely true. unacceptable. There are reasons. I mean, if you like wrote, you said, if you wrote Hamas from the river to uses sea, it, terrorist if, groups use it, and so, like, there are reasons. Whether you agree with them or not is a... You can, I, you're, and you're just Hamas says disagree. free Palestine as well. Does that mean free Palestine means eradication of Jews? It's in their charter too. No, it doesn't mean that. Okay, what's what's the difference then? I mean, obviously the context matters, right? Some people mean it that way. That's some what I don't. said. That's what I said. Right, but but well, so pre free Palestine in it. That was really disorienting to listen to the video game and their argument. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, no, I, I would, I would say that generally this conversation was productive up until like an hour and a half into this video. And when it, the conversation shifted to the semantics of this chant, I, I think it became very, very, it became very anecdote Andy. You know, they're, they're just being like, well, this group of people used it uh, in a positive way. Well, this group of people used it in a negative way. And it just goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And this is not useful. It's not actually... Um, really, really changing much at all. And it, it, they're both just getting upset at each other. And it's frustrating. Well, yeah, but there are also different wings and ideologies within the U.S. government, but, like, they're still part of the U.S. government. But again, I, I, I would just say, like, hey... 
I would think that maybe the best way to push back against the Israeli government is not by joining the organization the Israeli government has propped up as controlled opposition to aid the Israeli government's ongoing genocidal project. That that's my that's one of my main points. But moving on, we got we got only a few more minutes of this. Is Hassan supposed to be Ethan's friend? Yeah. It's not a comparable structure or situation. Well, it's not, but also they have, they, they literally have people who are, whose job it is to be the voice of Hamas. Like, if, if you're saying, well, they, they aren't speaking for everyone for Ham in, in Hamas, like, I mean, sure, but neither are anybody in any organization. There are going to be other people in the organization who think differently. That, that's, not a, that's not a real like counter argument to that like if somebody is in the position of speaking for an organization they're speaking for the organization formally i mean yeah but not everyone there even knows that history well sure all, all i'm saying is like it is a theocratic death cult and it's understandable why people join it because once like you know, the state of Israel's killing your family and people you know, like, yeah, you're going you're gonna to want to do something about that. It's understandable why people join it, but, like, at the end of the day, it's functionally, from the perspective that we have and the information we have, uh, another part of the Israeli uh, apartheid state. So, like, that, that's... The, Part of the problem here is, like, again, all I'm saying is you can understand it, but it doesn't justify, like, the actions, obviously. And that there's a difference between justification and understanding. Just the destruction of Israel, which is how, again, people interpret No, it. that's not true. Plenty of, plenty of Jews, that I've, plenty of Zionist Jews that I've, I've seen think free palestine means the destruction of uh, of jews okay. not just well, israel the entirety of the I, international jewish population I, I don't think that because from the river to the sea in the saying itself is people interpret it as the annihilation of israel that's how people see it okay when you want to understand what black lives matter means do you go to white people to ask them or do you go to black people and and, and ask them what it means who do you listen to when you want to understand Just the meaning me behind the slogan, Black me Lives point. Matter, do you yeah. ask white people what they think it means, or do you ask black people what they think it means? Um, I guess I probably, I, I would probably just ask uh, anyone involved in that movement. I don't know. Okay, that's great. Are there black people in the Black Lives Matter movement that, like, legitimately hate white people and, like, maybe want to even kill them? I'm sure there are. There's one. You can find one of everything, okay? Like, I'm sure. Does what that, you're doing, essentially, with your does that, Jews, does that using change, Jews as tokens. Does that change? No. Listen to my words. Does that change the broader movement and the morality behind Black Lives Matter? Or does that change what people mean when they say Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter doesn't... Again, it's what's in the phrase, dude. Saying white... Li or the, the thing is, like, bla saying Black Lives Matter doesn't insinuate that other lives don't matter. It's the, it's in the fucking phrase, bro. I don't know what to tell you. From, from the, river the river to the, to the sea, sea the Palestine phrase. will be free. Also, doesn't feature from the river to the sea. We all should right, destroy on. Israel and kill all the Jews. You're the one who's saying that that is the secondary implication behind it. I'm just telling you how people see it, bro. I know, we but disagree. if you were to tell me this is how white people feel about Black Lives Matter, I would say I don't care how white people feel in this regard because yeah, but my business Black is not about Matter, explaining what this. There's my, no inherent, bro. There's nothing in Black Lives Matter that's saying that white lives don't matter in the fucking. There's nothing slogan. in. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. That implies Jewish people must be eradicated, or Israel must be destroyed, no. and Jewish people in it must people, be killed. A lot of people disagree, because you're talking no. about from the river yes, to the sea. Yes, a lot of people who are not Palestinian, and a lot of people who are not anti-Zionist disagree. Anti-Zionists, on the other hand, don't agree, and they are the ones who are using the slogan. So why would I? I'm asking you, if I'm not going to ask a white person who is against Black Lives Matter. Why would uh, what they feel about this uh, slogan? Why would I go to 
uh, in the broadest well, majority, Zionists, both Jewish and Christian, why would I ask them what well, they think about a Zionist uh, anti-Zionist slogan? Pretty, I already explained it, but you don't you don't want to hear me. I I I'm understand trying, your analysis. I, wanna, I don't want to. I don't. I'm literally just explaining how people feel about it. For the record, the swarm aims to intercept I understand the, the analysis. Right? That it's not anti-Israel or anti-Semitic. I understand. And I agree with his analysis, actually. I do. I'm explaining why Jewish people around the world find it offensive. And I can tell you guys, most Jews do find it offensive because of the way they interpret it, which is the destruction of Israel. That's how they interpret it, whether it's meant that way or not. And I think that it's worth, you know, acknowledging that that's how people feel about it. Um, you know, keep using it. By I'm sorry, I was, I was, uh, I was gone. I'm, I'm I talking had to... to the audience. Can you hear me? Okay. I, I'm just, t I'm telling the audience because I don't think I'm simply explaining why people interpret it to be anti-Semitic or anti-Israel because of the insinuation that it is from the river to sea. They interpret it as it being a call for the destruction of Israel. If you now you can use that phrase, and I agree with your analysis, Hassan, that it's it. You know what I mean? That people sh can use that phrase. It's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's I'm a vibes-based discussion. If you care to to you know respond to it or not, no, I, or, I get the if perspective. If you want to keep using the phrase, that's fine. You know what I, I mean? The, I'm just I explaining that this. There, I don't. I just. I don't like that people act like it's so fucking shocking that you know when when Jewish people see that and interpret it one way. It's not fair to, to, to make them seem like crazy Zionists if, if, if you see are interpreting it that way. If you see my explanation of this, and if you hear Palestinians explain this uh, term and this slogan and what it means to them and the history of the slogan, right? And, and instead of going, oh, wow, I didn't think about that. Actually, maybe I'm in the wrong here. I would rather listen to those who are anti-Zionist, Palestinians, and also uh, uh, American Jews and, and Western Jews who are anti-Zionist alike. If I they all have it. I haven't played in, it yet. Uh, Killjoy. If they all have this kind of perspective overall, then, then, if you are also on the side of the emancipation of Palestinians, don't you think that the better thing to do here would be to uh, educate people to ensure that there is not any further? Like, yeah, Ethan, I think is looking for like a personal, just like a personal acknowledgement. I think I think that's what Ethan is looking for here and is just not getting it. Misunderstandings on the front, because that's the reason why I uh, make this uh, statement. That's the reason why I try to uh, educate people when there's a sea of of counterfactuals and counter narratives that that simply claim unconditionally that this is like anti-Semitic. Anti-Semitic people yeah, can I use disagree. this. I do. Agree. I disagree that it's unconditionally anti-Semitic. But do you understand why some people might find that a, like a scary phrase to hear yes, around the world? I, I around do. The world? But okay, people good. also, but people also think. Say. I know, but you people also think for Palestine is a scary phrase. Bro, you. Okay, so so you acknowledge that Jews around the world, you can understand why they would see that and can think of it as as a scary phrase to them. It would make them uncomfortable. Yes, just like. Just That's like it. Black Lives Matter can be an uncomfortable phrase for people, but it doesn't change my mentality around the phrase. No, and if someone asks me, okay, whatever, bro. I don't what know. What do you to mean, whatever? You. That's not whatever. That's very we're, important. We're just talking in circles. We've already talked about this shit. I know, but but it's important because I don't want you to think that I'm like cynically or in a weird way, just like being like, no, so. anti-Semitism is like totally fine actually no, with this one so, phrase. But what I I I don't. I just you won't make any fucking concessions, and it's crazy. Like. Like, I make so many fucking concessions to you all the time from my heart, and I listen, and I fucking try to move towards your side every time we talk, and I do. But when I fucking try to tell, explain to you, and you even sit here and you understand that, you know... Yeah, I think that there are some people who care most about signaling that they're right. You know? Um... They they care a lot about signaling that they're right or being technically correct. And I, I think it can kind of torpedo discussions like this. 
it's why just Jewish people around the world might find that phrase uh, scary to them. You you're fu you won't fucking even admit. Well, now you did that I asked you, but you you think it's fucking silly. You don't want to hear anything I have to say, and you don't want to concede a single fucking point. And it's not that fun to talk to you about it when, when it's that when it's like that. I'm just trying to like connect a fucking bridge at all between I, understanding. I do understand it. You can use you can use that phrase. I'm not even disagreeing. But like, if we're trying to actually like make bridges and fucking understand each other, you can't you not being able to even concede why Jews around the world could interpret that way seems you know like anti. It's not productive at all. But I do understand it, which is why I try to work against this counter narrative, this counter factual. I try. <laughs> Why, you know, sometimes it, like, it feels like there are weird cuts in this video. Man. I mean, I, Killjoy, I think it's fine to stream this. I think it is fine to stream content that is uncomfortable in, in this way. I think it's actually kind of useful. I don't think it's necessarily healthy for Ethan. But I think it is useful for us as viewers um, looking at the two of them. I to use the privilege that I have, the platform that I have, to deliver a voice for a group of people, a group of people that are never on that, that are never really heard at I all. Think Peace and progress happens when we connect and have empathy for each other. That's it. I'm explaining to you why Jews around the world might find that offensive. And um, there's, there, 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 and that's it. I think that it would be good to try to understand that. But The um, question I have is this. But I don't care to keep talking about it because we just keep talking in circles. Like, I, I feel like I, I'm just explaining it, man. And you know I'm not a fucking radical Jew. I'm not even a religious Jew. No, I have I, no I fucking, I have no stake in the game. And this is coming from. I, I know, I know. Dude. Um. I, it, it doesn't really seem like, you know, Hassan, Jesus. I don't know why I get so fucking emotional lately. You all right? We don't have to. We don't no, have to clearly he's not. To, we don't feel like it. I'm not like a fucking great. I'm not a sensitive Jew. I never scream anti-Semitism about anything. No, I so know. So like, you can't, I don't even think it's fair to characterize. Like, I'm just telling you how people see it. I, I, I mean, that's I, all Ethan, I'm doing. I know. I never you said disagree, that. disagree, clearly. That's it. And that's fine. I, I don't, Ethan, I don't, I've never said any of those things against you. And I, and I don't believe that. I'm simply trying to describe the position of Palestinians in this matter. I, I feel like you could do that while also like letting your friend know that you understand him dude like ethan agrees with you on like all of these issues dude yeah Malachi ultimately ultimately this second half of the conversation is like Ethan wanting reassurance from his friend and just not getting it for like an hour of conversation. Like like Ethan is like breaking down here and Hassan is just like I'm look I'm just speaking truth to pro truth to power bro. But you're not you're not speaking truth to power. You're speaking to your friend. Your 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 friend who is just trying to ask for some reassurance that like you can at least kind of understand where he's coming from. And saying, Yeah, I understand, but is not the 
the response he's looking for. He's not looking to debate you into understanding him. Like, I'm autistic as hell, and I even I can read what's happening here. On this front. And, You've and done that, and I understand, bro. I understand. I understand. I've listened to you, I, and I agree. I, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to fight. I think this is like, I mean, it, it sucks. And I'm, I'm sorry that I, I made you feel a certain way. I'm it's, sorry that my community you know, made you feel a certain like, way. No, it's fucked up. It, I don't want you to, I think you're a good person. Just understand that people don't know, uh, the empathy that you have. And they simply see, you know, similar talking points that they've heard from other, others that don't demonstrate that same empathy that you do when you're delivering their perspective here. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to have a conversation about it. I'm just trying to be honest and open and like, you know. I agree. I, I respect it, which is why I wanted to have this conversation to begin with. I hope you don't think that I'm like, uh, you know, harboring resentment or, or trying to get my fucking community to hate you. I'm working in the exact. I mean, I feel like he doesn't do a whole lot to try and curb that, but yeah. Like the opposite direction. Well, I don't think your mods have a very vested interest in, uh, aligning their goals with yours i'll talk to them about it as well but as far as like um as far as like a two-state solution goes i think you're uh, or a one-state solution goes like even having that conversation alone implies that you're not a zionist so i don't know why Dude, uh, i literally conceded to you that the one state may might make no, more I know. sense that's actually how i heard about this was seeing all of the god-awful tweets from his mods and other fans just saying the most deranged things about ethan yeah like, I mean, it, it's, it's institutional. Um, the, the Ethan derangement is, is institutional in, in Hassan's community. It's, it's crazy, bro. Ethan, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that I don't, I don't feel that way. Yeah, but the issue is you keep telling him stuff. And he's not, he, like, he's been told for the last two hours, and he just wants to know that you can fucking hear and understand him. Like, and you just continuing to tell him stuff that he already agrees with is not actually helping. Hey, anyway, I don't, I'm not coming from it from that perspective at all. All right, I got. I do have to go. I mean, I don't know what was the. I don't know if this was productive or anything really at all. My sense of this is that I'm gonna probably deeply regret having this conversation, but uh, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna guess that is the case. Just out of curiosity. Like, again, like, this is one of the top posts, and it's just like, as a Native, and, uh, Native American and Native Hawaiian woman whose great-grandparents were in boarding schools, this idea that Zionist Jewish people's generational trauma is so great that it basically paralyzes them from stopping the genocide they themselves are endorsing and celebrating, or even apathetic about it, is sincerely mind-boggling to me as a grown woman who has personally dealt with and witnessed generational trauma my entire life. Generational trauma is not a good enough reason to not stop committing crimes against humanity. But, like, e Ethan agrees with this point, you know? Like, uh, again, some of the formulation here is... is wild? To me, like... <sighs> This top comment is actually good. I, I'd love to see a show with an Irish person well versed in the peace process. That'd be that'd be cool. Ethan is an empathetic person. It's clear there's a huge disconnect between what he knows to be real and what his beliefs are. Again, I, he believes all of the same things that that Hassan put forward in the video in, that we just watched. The one thing he was like. Hey, I think it's kind of messed up, maybe, that some terrorist groups use from the river to the sea, and also, like, 
you know, some of the some of the pro Palestinian protesters use that same phrase. I think that might be kind of fucked up. And like that that was the one point of disagreement. You know, like I'll, true, she didn't say it was specifically about Ethan, but like this entire this this entire video is two and a half hours of them talking, so I I would assume it's probably somehow tangentially about Ethan. Someone needs to tell Ethan that there's no middle ground in a genocide. And it's okay to say that a genocide is wrong and not right. Except that Ethan has said that multiple times. Yeah, again, Ethan, I don't like when people call me a Zionist. Also, Ethan sees Israel as synonymous with Judaism. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't want to engage with this community either. I'm not even halfway through, and I'm frustrated with Ethan. Just because peace is hard doesn't mean it's not worth trying for, which he didn't say. All he was saying was that, like, none of Hassan's answers were about tangibly moving towards a one-state solution. It was just about, oh, maybe someday in, like, 50 to 100 years, a one-state solution could arise. But that's not an answer to his actual question. I hope Ethan realizes that him saying he's being pro uh, pragmatic doesn't automatically make his position pragmatic. Yeah. Yeah, I know Ethan always talks about how he tries to be an optimist, but, uh, but a realist. All I hear when someone says peace is not possible is priming the people who hear it to accept genocide. Again, like, I mean, it's just, a lot of these people are just saying Ethan is unabashedly pro-genocide. And I think that's insane to me, having now watched this video, that that is, that is an insane way to interpret it. Ethan, I love you. I wanted to talk to you beforehand um, so we can just, like, have a more productive outline uh, for it for a conversation like this i'm not I mean, this I'm not is what sure i wanted like... to talk about what no this is what i wanted to talk about it's no fine. i know i just <sighs> like i like look as, as a final statement on this for everyone that's watching i mean she then goes on to say if that's what ethan's position is then these people's brains are unfortunately broken and we have to have productive conversations with people who are willing to listen because people and children are dying over there right now I don't know isn't cutting it anymore, Ethan. It isn't helpful, and we are well past this. Move out of the way for the love of God. I mean, I, I think it's pretty clear he's, she's talking about Ethan. I, I think that's pretty clear. Ethan is not a bad person. He's not a Zionist. I mean, sure seems like your audience thinks he is on both accounts. He is, um, he is delivering the perspective of, of a person that has lived in Israel Yelling at Ethan is not going to be productive in this situation or uh, appropriate in this situation. Don't, and don't you think it's like, if you're, if you're trying to reconcile between two different groups of people, don't you, even if one group is wrong, let's say, do you think it's at least even a little important to try to understand their perspective? 100%. No, okay. I, I do. Uh, so I, I talk it. about, I talk about the importance really of building a broad, I doing. talk about the importance of building a broad movement all the time. And in order to engage in coalition building, you have to be conciliatory, you have to be understanding, you have to be empathetic, lead by empathy. Like, if, See, if you want to call me Israel... Yeah, I th I, let me put it this way. I, I, think, I think you can make some educated guesses uh, based on how people are responding to this video without unrolling the whole comment. Um, but, uh, yeah. defending that i'm like the most I, it's all it's almost like i've been doing this for several years now and understand what people mean when they comment on videos like this
milk toast pro Israel defender you can possibly find. So like you gotta learn you people need to learn to build a fucking bridge somewhere. I'm like, I'm not saying that. I hope you understand. I don't. I know. I don't. Yeah, you're not saying it, but I do think that a large part of your community thinks that. It's clearly reflected by by all the shit that the mods continue to say. And so I think it stems from. I think I it's, just got a air. I just got a fucking Air Force ad. Yeah, I just ran an ad. Um, right. I forgot to run it at the top of the hour. All right, listen. Um, let me just clarify. Israel's wrong. The settlements should be removed. Netanyahu's a war criminal. I fucking hate him and his whole cabinet. They're genocidal, absolute psychopaths. Fucking despise them. I think the Palestinian people, I think the blockade needs to be lifted. I think there needs to be, I think that Israel is indiscriminately bombing Gaza. That whatever, this indiscriminate bombing of Gaza is fucking horrific and horrible and absolutely destroys Israel's position. I, I, I don't know what more I can do to, uh, to, to, to try to empathize um, as, as someone who is, who's an Israeli. I don't know. And so that, those are my positions. If I try to explain a perspective of, of a Jewish or Israeli person, I'm not endorsing it. I'm not defending it. I'm only saying it because I think it's important for people to understand the perspectives of of those on the other side of them so that you can connect with them better what's That's... guys uh, i don't know about you but i i certainly heard everything he just said and came to the conclusion that ethan is pro the pro genocide of palestinians and I, I don't know what to tell you guys uh, he's clearly anti-peace clearly uh hates all palestinians um and uh is a zionist pig dog i i mean like that, that's the only conclusion i can come to based on the words he just said I am your average Hasanabi commenter, I guess. That's it. That's my goal. And what is um, what is your what could um the pro Palestinian side do better? I think that's a good question to ask you. Like as far as as far well, as its I, own advocacy, I don't mean this like cynically. I'm, no, I'll I'm like, answer. It. I'll answer it again. I I hate to speak so broadly about the whole movement, but in general, I've seen, and what I'm seeing now is just like a really vitriol. Uh, toler like there's zero empathy or tolerance or uh, desire to hear the perspective that I'm doing. Killjoy, yes, indeed, he did. And, and so much so, there there's not only a lack of empathy, there's a downright um, and outright uh, hatred for it. I mean, they, I feel like a lot of people can't differentiate between like real Zionist propagandist psychotic fucking freaks and then someone like me who's a you know secular modern fucking unreligious uh and concerned jewish person israeli that's concerned about what's happening to the palestinian people and so i don't i think that people uh, again i can't speak to the whole movement at broad but i can talk about what i'm seeing in your community with your mods and such is that there's such a quick, it's so quick to condemnation. It's so quick to interpret the worst faith possible. There's no charitability. And I understand because tensions are high. People are ups rightfully upset about what's happening. I mean, that's to put it mildly, right? As you said, I mean, 10,000 people died. 6,000 of them are kids, or maybe even more, 8,000. I don't know. But <laughs> there has to be, if there's not even tolerance for someone with my perspective, then I genuinely don't think that there's ever going to be a chance of anyone reconciling this in a meaningful way. I just, I just I think, think it's counterproductive to. He is correct. He like he's just he is just absolutely cor correct. I think the issue is Ethan is saying don't treat people who live under the state as the state. Be mad at the state and not the people because people are flawed and have biases that implicit while states are flawed unfeeling and explicit in their bias i mean yeah i mean that's definitely true um but i think he's also pointing out pretty accurately that like you need to, you need to be able to engage with people who don't agree with everything you say and slag you off you, you need to be able to have meaningful conversations with that 
and, and like be able to live with like small differences of opinion to be able to like say hey you might not agree with me on like this slogan but we can both agree and work together towards uh you know a, a solution for palestinians and, and like an end to the war in, in gaza like you can you need to be able to do that and I, frankly there are so goddamn many people especially in the online left who are completely incapable of that it completely it's all just it's all just uh, sports. It's all just you play for that team, I play for this team, and now we have to fight to the death. To look at me like uh, the fucking villain and to call me a Zionist and to interpret what I'm saying as someone who who's no different than you know your run of the mill uh, militant fucking fundamentalist uh, settler or uh, fanatic in Israel. I agree. I think that people are too quick to jump to conclusions, especially because of the prevalence of certain talking points that they hear that they immediately go, oh, he, it seems like he's defending Israel. In the same way that people look at me and say, oh, you're, you don't care. You love Hamas. Like, you must love Hamas. It's very obvious that you love Hamas over and over again, um, despite the, the endless condemnations. That I deliver. Yeah, I feel that. And in talk my... about the the brutality of it. It's just people are very black and white on the internet, and they want to put you in a a <clears throat> neatly defined box that says you believe this, and I think that you believe this, and you're sneakily and cynically and uh, uh, you know talking against this other position. Um, I will not listen to what you have to say. I simply am going to. Uh, perceive you a certain way and go along with it i obviously disagree with that that's why i try to uh break through that on a regular basis i try to instill charitability in my audience as well when talking to people that's I do uh, think, though in general like i i agree with what you're saying about yourself i know that all that about you but i do think like on the whole that your community is extremely hostile towards me uh, or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how. What's it's the percentage? Not, I mean, how how could I? How could I? No, there's there's plenty of. Fans but I feel of like they're they're community. overly. Uh, there are plenty of fans of yours in this community. I think that yeah, they're. Yeah. No, I don't know what's the percentage, but like, it's very. I don't know. I feel like very unwelcomed, and it makes me feel like sometimes that this what we are doing here is kind of pointless. But I I admire everything that you do, and I support everything that you do, and um. It's also. It, I don't. It's, I don't. I think, it's, I think it's also because it's a. It's a political. It's a political community, which is fucking cancerous and awful in general, especially like this morning. I talked about walking my dog. I was ten minutes into the broadcast, and the first thing I saw in the fucking chat was, "Oh, so no more BDS against Starbucks, I guess." Because I said I got a puppuccino for my dog. I never said I went to Starbucks. I never said anything. For the past fucking. For, for, for the past four weeks, almost five weeks now, I have continuously talked about what is going on in Gaza. And yet there were still people who are mentally ill and fucking bad faith who were like, oh, I guess you went to Starbucks. Yeah, and but the issue is the people you're talking about are also your mods. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, come on now. Purchased all the Starbucks you possibly could. And that must mean you hate the BDS movement. That must mean you hate... Palestinians in general. So this shit happens to me all the fucking time too. It's part and parcel of like being, unfortunately, in the political realm, especially when it's like an environment that is ultimately very emotional. That people, uh, you know, people do the two awful worst things you could do. It's we're marrying parasocial a attitudes that are already unhealthy with. Uh, is Hassan bad at his job? It depends on what you consider Hassan's job to be political perspectives that people get like incredibly polarized on and incredibly impassioned about so obviously no matter what happens like if you look at this kind of stuff and it let you let you uh let the kind of stuff sway your opinion it's going to destroy you mentally it's just something that i mean listen I'm, sucks i've been that like I, I have I've to been deal with the internet always. so fucking long dude i'm impervious for the most part i would thought into this shit you know but this stuff that's happening here really, you know, had a, I know what it, it, I know what it is. 
it's it's getting yelled at by i mean i mean like yeah ethan, ethan's been doing this for longer than hassan maybe like ethan's been at this for a long time he has a huge following like he knows about insane commenters the issue is the community that hassan has cultivated that that is the issue and that is a failure on his part. By those you uh, perceive as your allies. Happens to me all the fucking time, too. Last thing I want to say. Remember yeah. when we... Re remember when I bought a house and everybody fucking lost their minds? Or when I bought a car and everybody lost their fucking minds? The people that were yelling at me in that situation were not right-wingers. I mean, sure, there were right-wingers that were yelling at me and taking advantage of the situation, too. It was mostly fucking people with hammer and sickles in their fucking bios on Twitter. That didn't change my perspective. And it didn't change my uh, opinion on the world. And it didn't change my analysis one bit. Because ultimately, you have to remember, like, a lot of that comes from a place of anger, resentment, frustration in their own personal lives. You just have to keep learning and keep going on this journey. Be as charitable as you possibly can to others and, and lead by empathy. There are going to be people who... Like, you like, like Ethan has moved left. He used to have a conservative community. He he purged the worst offenders and moved left. Like he's aware of how to curate his community and it's not a skill that Hassan has. Perceive as allies who will yell at you and it's going to hurt your fucking soul. And it has happened to me more than anyone on this planet. Goddamn. If you've consumed any me- Hello, H-Bomber guy. Your soothing dulcet tones will have to come on a new day.